Over 150,000 people in Jackson, Mississippi tonight do not have safe drinking water. People have been waiting in line at distribution sites and they flooded stores looking for water bottles. Flooding over the weekend damaged a water treatment plant. That's what led them to be in this situation. The governor of Mississippi, Tate Reeves, says emergency repairs are underway at the plant, but there's still a lot of work left to be done. There are interruptions in the system that are causing low pressure and in some instances no pressure for Jackson residents. That's not good because none of this is good. But it is often a sign that work is being done in the facility and that progress is being made. Janet Shamlian is our correspondent in Jackson, Mississippi tonight. Uh, Jackson, uh, Janet, I want to ask you this. You were telling me we were speaking on the phone earlier and you said there was a chance they were going to run out of water even before you and I had that li this live discussion. Have they? Yeah, David, they had. This is one of the water giveaways going on around Jackson tonight. And I wanted to show you the long lines that just stretched for a mile or more down the street. They had 280 cases of water. They started giving them out at 5 o'clock Central Time. They ran out at 6 o'clock Central Time. And there are still people driving here. You'll see the occasional car behind me hoping for a case, but they are going away empty. Hired. That is the situation. That's how dire and desperate the need is for a case of 24 bottles of water tonight in the city of Jackson, Mississippi. You told me over the phone, Janet, that essentially the infrastructure is old. The people who live there, the majority of, the, of people are people of color, and they feel like they have been overlooked and they feel like they have been ignored. And so tonight, there Indeed, you... Indeed, because this is not a new program. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go on. They do feel ignored and overlooked because it's not a new problem. They are on a boil water notice. The water is not safe to drink tonight. This is not the first time this year. This is not the first time last year. This has been going on for more than a decade because, as you indicated, the aging infrastructure system, uh, they've been putting patches on it, and they don't have the money, frankly, to improve it. So what happens next, Janet? I mean, is this a situation where, you know, until we get the money, this is just, hey, life as it is in Jackson, Mississippi? So water is, um, I'm sorry, uh, uh, money is trickling in. The infrastructure bill that was just passed, uh, that will bring $75 million to Mississippi, the poorest state in the United States. Uh, but only $20 million of that will probably come to Jackson. And they estimate to replace the infrastructure system that brings water to the people of this community, it will cost a billion dollars. So clearly the money is not there. No one knows where it's going to come from. And every time we have a storm and the, the pumps get overrun, there's going to be a situation like this that does impact communities of color the hardest. People have no drinking water. They have no water to cook with. There are giveaways like this and non-potable water being distributed. But it's a frustrating way to live in an American city in the United States in 2022. Janet was telling me on the phone that she went to a restaurant that had gotten water, bottled water, and they were gonna, you know, operate as normal. And then the trickle was so low in the bathroom that they kind of threw their hands up and said, if, if we can't provide water for people to wash their hands, then we can't stay open, and they closed. I would assume this is a business, Janet, that needs to operate to make ends meet. Absolutely, and they have people working for them that are, you know, lower paid jobs, so they depend on the hours they work at this restaurant. This restaurant said it was losing 10 to 20 percent of its business. It was buying ice, it was buying water to cook with and to drink, but when they couldn't flush the toilets and they couldn't use the dishwasher, they had to close their doors. Janet Chamlian with the emergency in Jackson, Mississippi tonight. Thank you, Janet.